So far, we've been looking at how individual agents work. In this section, we're going to zoom out and explore multi-agent systems, how multiple agents work together to solve problems that are simply too complex for a single agent to handle efficiently. Let's quickly recap. A single agent system typically consists of one foundation model that's augmented with tools. That agent can retrieve data, call APIs, and interact with external systems. This setup works well for many tasks, and it's often called an augmented LLM. But as problems grow more complex, a single agent can start to struggle. It may have access to too many tools, overly long prompts, or deeply nested logic. Context window limits and decision fatigue can reduce accuracy and reliability. So what do we do when one agent isn't enough? That's exactly where multi-agent systems come in. Instead of forcing one agent to do everything, we distribute the work across multiple specialized agents. A multi-agent system extends the same tool augmentation idea. But instead of attaching many tools to one agent, we introduce multiple agents. Each agent is designed to focus on a specific task and operates independently. These agents can run sequentially or in parallel. Each one has its own context and memory and is responsible for a single concern. This separation keeps each agent focused and effective. This separation of concerns is powerful. Each agent can concentrate on what it does best without being overwhelmed by the entire system's complexity. The result is cleaner reasoning, better tool usage, and higher quality outputs. A great real-world example is software development. You might have one agent generating code, another reviewing it, and another optimizing or refactoring it. These agents can operate on the same code base, either sequentially or in parallel. An important rule of thumb applies here. If your use case is simple, don't over-engineer it. Multi-agent systems add coordination overhead, so they're most valuable only when the problem itself is genuinely complex. Multi-agent systems make sense when you're dealing with layered decision-making, validation steps, or iterative refinement. If your workflow feels complex even to a human, it's a strong candidate for multi-agent design. One common signal is tool overload. When a single agent has access to too many tools, it may struggle to choose the right one or lose focus due to context window constraints. This mirrors how human teams work. A team of specialists almost always outperforms a single generalist trying to do everything. The same principle applies when designing AI agents. One of the most common multi-agent designs is the orchestrator pattern. In this setup, one orchestrator agent coordinates the work, while multiple worker agents handle specific tasks. The orchestrator receives the user request, breaks it into smaller subtasks, and delegates those tasks to specialized worker agents. Once the workers finish, a synthesizer combines the results into a final response. The key thing to remember is that the orchestrator doesn't solve the problem itself. Its job is coordination, not execution. This makes the system scalable and easier to reason about. Another common design is the router pattern. Instead of breaking tasks apart, a router simply decides which agent or model should handle the entire request. The router examines the incoming request, selects the most appropriate agent or model, and forwards the request directly. Only one agent processes the request, and its response is returned to the user. This pattern works best when tasks are mutually exclusive and only one agent is needed per request. Routing decisions are often based on intent, complexity, or cost. For example, simple requests can be routed to smaller, cheaper models, while complex requests go to more capable models. This is the same cost optimization strategy used by systems like ChatGPT. In some cases, multiple agents run in parallel on the same input. Each agent processes the task independently and their results are aggregated. This pattern is useful for guardrails, safety checks, parallel evaluations, or voting systems, any scenario where multiple independent judgments improve reliability. The aggregator's role is simple. It collects, compares, or combines outputs. It doesn't generate new content, it just consolidates results. Prompt chaining is another well-known pattern. Here, agents process tasks in a fixed sequence, where each agent consumes the output of the previous one. What makes this pattern more robust is the ability to insert gates or checks between steps. If something goes wrong early, the workflow can stop, saving time and compute cost. Common examples include document translation pipelines, step-by-step -step content generation, or building slides from an outline. In the evaluator-optimizer pattern, one agent generates an output, while another evaluates its quality. 
feedback is sent back, and the loop continues until the output meets quality standards. A classic example is code generation with automated review. The evaluator identifies bugs or inefficiencies, and the generator iterates until the result is acceptable. This pattern is especially useful for code, search, analysis, and reasoning tasks that benefit from progressive refinement rather than one-shot generation. Multi-agent systems are not about adding complexity for its own sake. They're about breaking hard problems into manageable, specialized components. When used thoughtfully, multi-agent systems improve scalability, clarity, and output quality. They're a key building block for real-world production-grade AI systems.